What's going on guys? It's Wrestle News Mania here, back with another video. In this video, we've got some exciting updates and breaking news from the world of wrestling, and you won't want to miss a thing. But before we dive into it, make sure to hit that like button, comment, share, and subscribe to Wrestle News Mania. And turn on notifications so you stay updated with all the latest content. And with that being said, let's jump right into the news. The Usos reunite. Raw kicked off with a huge crowd pop for Jey Uso, who was reeling from losing the Intercontinental title last week. After addressing the crowd, he called out Jimmy. Jimmy reminded Jay of their loyalty and shared a heartfelt moment, but things escalated quickly. Tamatanga, Tangaloa, and Jacob Fatu attacked, with Solo Sokoa observing ringside. Jay and Jimmy ultimately fought off their attackers, standing strong. It was a wild segment that teased a potential showdown with Solo and the Bloodline down the line. Sheamus vs. Ludwig Kaiser Next, we saw a brutal match between Sheamus and Ludwig Kaiser. Right from the start, Kaiser showed his aggression with a sliding dropkick and worked hard to keep Sheamus down. But Sheamus' powerhouse moves and experience prevailed, finishing with a devastating brogue kick for the win. A solid bout that highlighted Kaiser's tenacity and hinted at a possible singles push for him in the near future. LWO vs. The New Day vs. War Raiders One of the night's highlights featured the LWO, The New Day, and War Raiders facing off for the number one contender spot for the tag titles. This chaotic but exciting match showcased impressive teamwork, particularly from the LWO's Dragon Lee and Rey Mysterio. With an appearance from Chad Gable causing a surprise distraction, the War Raiders clinched the victory after pinning Kofi Kingston, setting them up for a tag title shot. Backstage, Seth Rollins and Bronson Reed parking lot brawl. In a heated segment, Seth Rollins' promo was cut short when Bronson Reed challenged him to a fight in the parking lot. The two brawled furiously, culminating in Reed putting Rollins through tables with a brutal Death Valley driver. This fiery exchange hints at a brewing rivalry that could lead to an explosive match soon at Crown Jewel. Damian Priest vs. Dominic Mysterio Damian Priest went head-to-head -head with Dominic Mysterio in a match fueled by tension. Dom attempted to hold his own and cheat his way to victory, but Priest dominated. Ultimately, Dom took advantage of a distraction, landing a roll-up pin to take the win. Priest retaliated post-match with a chair assault, leaving Dom down. This match's outcome builds tension for future Judgment Day drama. Now that we have recapped the show, let's look at the up, the down, and the ugly of tonight's show. The up. The Usos reuniting. The reunion was not only emotional, but impactful. The twin brothers reminded fans of their incredible bond, fending off attacks from Tamatanga, Tangaloa, and Jacob Fatu. The storyline with the Bloodline continues to evolve, and seeing them together on Raw adds depth to what could lead to an epic showdown with Solo and his new faction. Triple Threat Tag Match The tag team bowed between LWO, The New Day, and War Raiders was a fantastic display of teamwork and athleticism. Each team got their moment to shine, but the War Raiders win sets them up as credible challengers for the titles. WWE's tag division feels reinvigorated, and this match was the perfect setup for future rivalries. Sheamus vs. Ludwig Kaiser This hard-hitting match highlighted Sheamus' undeniable strength and Kaiser's impressive resilience. Ending with a broke kick, Sheamus proved he's still a force in the ring. For Kaiser, his performance hints that WWE may be eyeing him for bigger things. Seth Rollins' Bronson Reed feud setup The parking lot brawl was exciting, the rivalry has gained a lot of momentum. Rollins and Reed have the potential to give a thrilling match, and hopefully, WWE will flesh out the feud for a more compelling story in the future with the talented stars. The Down Damian Priest vs. Dominic Mysterio While Dominic's heel antics are always entertaining, this match felt a little underwhelming. Dom's reliance on distractions to secure a win over a competitor as strong as Priest makes it seem like he's stuck in a formulaic role. Priest's post-match attack did add a touch of excitement, but this match lacked the intensity expected from these two. The Ugly Interference in Tag Contenders Match Chad Gable's interference in the Triple Threat match, while adding an element of surprise, felt like an unnecessary addition to an already busy bout. The match was intense on its own, and Gable's interference seemed out of place, slightly detracting from the stellar teamwork on display. News and Rumors Now that we've recapped the show, let's jump into today's hottest WWE news and rumors. Roman Reigns and the Usos vs. The Bloodline the highly anticipated showdown is official for Crown Jewel, with Roman Reigns and the Usos taking on the Bloodline faction led by Solo Sokoa. This clash promises to bring unresolved family tensions to a head in Riyadh, setting the stage for an unforgettable showdown. DIY and Street Profits T-Splits 
Dave Meltzer of Wrestling Observer Radio says that WWE may be getting ready to dismantle two established tag teams in order to make room. Meltzer predicted that DIY may be one of the teams WWE breaks up. The Machine Guns as a team were kind of the team in the spot that DIY was, Meltzer said. The small team that's really, really good workers. Dissension between Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano was teased on October 25th episode of SmackDown during their loss to the Motor City Machine Guns. Ciampa and Gargano first formed DIY in NXT in 2015, and after a duration where both men pursued singles endeavors, reformed on WWE's main roster in late 2023. Meltzer also believes WWE may be closer than ever to breaking up the street profits. He said that WWE has been wanting to experiment with Ford as a single star for quite some time now, but claimed Ford had resisted over concerns his partner would be left without much to do, creatively. For a long time, there's been a push from people who think that Montez Ford should be a single star, Meltzer said. He's been resisting it because most people figure it's going to be one of those things like, Dawkins will probably kind of fall into nowhere land. That wraps up our raw recap with the up, the down, and the ugly, and the latest WWE news. Thanks for tuning in to Wrestle News Mania. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and let us know in the comments which match or storyline you're most excited about.